Yeah, dude, I was gonna say, not only, he's getting the experience. Yeah. Okay, he's, you know, he's, he's leveling up with that experience and all that. In addition, he's learning things, because you know what, he, it was a ditto. And when you play a ditto, you're able to incorporate some of the styles that, uh, you know, somebody else you play, you're like, oh, I never knew Wolf could do that, or like, oh, I should look for that more. And I think it was just a cool lesson, and you know, a cool thing to go look back on. Like, you know, who knows, in a month from now, maybe, uh, maybe Cade's like, you know, running train ever since the MK Leo <laughs> thing. Like, you don't know. All right, so we got, uh, on the left is a Peach Daisy. I know that because uh, he goes to my school, UCI. Oh, UCI. So, and then I believe that's Q Reflex on the right. So we are going, which is a Pit Ike. So we're getting, uh, we're getting some, we're getting, we're getting some SoCal oh, I, battle. I'd, I'd be down to see some Pit. The the more rare the character, the more I become intrigued in the play. You know what's funny? Even though, like, Luigi's a rare character, but we're in SoCal, so we're like, ah, Con Con and Elegant play Luigi. You know what I mean? But it's like, you don't really need people to play them. You, know? you venture away from the Golden State, and Luigi just doesn't exist, it seems like. <laughs> true, true. All right, I, I am actually curious. My guess is uh, Kira Flux will probably pick Ike, only because maybe, I don't know if he knows anything about his opponent, since, you know, it's Peach, uh, a Peach player. Yeah, so it's, it's hard to uh, break dance on me in the air if I'm slapping you with nares the entire time. It's just like, you know, you got to get your uh, your diet, your healthy diet going with some turnips. Actually, I have no idea what turnips do to the human body. I mean, in theory, Ike is a pretty solid counter to Peach because one of the best responses to Ike's nair, mm -hmm. shield. But if you're floating around trying to tap dance, you don't really get the shield. That's true. I mean, you know, everyone's going to be like, oh, you just parry Ike. Uh, well, yes, I do agree. You gotta go. You know, you gotta train. You gotta practice your parries. And Ike's uh, Ike's movements are Ike's aerial attack movements are very you know predictable, projected, and all that. However, the only one who's really ever punished Ike so far at a top level play is Light. Uh, when he beat MK Leo, uh, he's able to parry Ike successfully. And uh, you know, a lot of people were like, "Oh, you just do that." However, I don't think they've studied the set enough to really be like, "Oh, okay, so we are getting I the pit." Like Wolf has been that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, double check it. I don't. Okay, yeah, it's, it's, it is a fun check. So I don't. You know, it's funny. I, I, I don't think. This, I think this is the only pit. No, I, I watched some other pit. There was a pit at MSM who uh, won. He had like a green and red. But, a, uh, a rare pit. Yeah, yeah. All right. So MK Leo looking to get into the top 12 with one more win. He's got the winner of Cinepie, who was on stream earlier versus Kevin H. Tater Nader, uh, Bowser Jr. Here in SoCal, one of the one of the people you gotta watch out for, and Ra right. Rival versus Raffy. That's a good SoCal battle. It's a DSS versus a Bowser, which is terrible for Bowser's. I wonder if Raffy's gonna counter pick. He plays a lot of Mario characters. Good one. Um, Razo, you know, Peach. He won WNF. Don't need to say more. One of the P uh, one of the, uh, SoCal's uh, PR finest. Uh, Pure Flex right here. This is Pure Flex versus Solex. So winner of this still has to win one more to get into top 12 winner side. Uh, ooh, Yui. I know that name. I just, I, Do you? Yeah, I just can't remember the what they play. But that's why everything you're looking at for winners on this side of Pool A1. So, you know, got some uh, good talent on this pool. Yeah, you gotta watch out. You gotta watch out. It's always cool when, when there's a major tournament that draws some of these international, intercontinental talent over, and they get to hang out for a little while and just get a sampling of, of different scenes. One of the things that I really love about Smash is that it feels like each region kind of has its own flavor. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the games I'm affiliated with, like it's just all online. So there's just like one kind of global community of sorts. Yeah. So to, to see like the meta in California feels very different from what you see on something like VGBC yeah. or, or some of the other places. Dude, that's why like I always love when some place invades another place. It's like you gotta respect, you know, you gotta have pride for your place. All right, uh, Pokemon Stadium 2, the classic starter here. Um, one thing, okay, so we all know Pit is more of like, wait, wait, wait. By the way, that smiley face, fun fact for everyone is, I call it the faux pas uh, stitch because that's the second most damaged turn of all. So while not as rare as, you know, pulling out a stitch or a bomb bomb and all that, you gotta watch out because that does uh, 25%. I'm really curious to see Kira Flax's approach in neutral against the Peach. Does he try to keep Sol Solex honest with the arrows? It seems like relying on the neutral air is working out for him. But there are a lot of, there, there's some pretty disjointed hitboxes that Pit brings to the table that could allow him to just kind of wade in. And you don't really see a ton of Pits. So I'm curious to see if Solex has a firm handle on this matchup. That's true. Uh, 
Pit is like a, a fake sword character. He has, he's got really good aerials, enough spacing for that. And one thing I do want to mention, he does have that reflector, which Pure Reflect already did. So when uh, Peach throws out, like let's just say she's throwing out turnips, Pure Reflect has already reflected one that went beyond him, and it actually came back and hit Peach. So that's something she has to respect from there. Oh, nice. He baited that. He baited that forward. Now. Nice weaving there by Solex. Finds an opportunity, gets the dash attack. Not able to convert the first stock off of it. There's a nice turn up. Follows that. Ooh! Catch him with a fair off the jump. Looks like he was Wave goodbye. Yeah, he looks like he was trying to throw out an aerial, trying to like contest. However, Peach is fair. One of the. I don't want to say one of the most prioritized attacks in the game, but one of the attacks you have to respect the range on it, even when you're behind her. Uh, the other thing I see Kira Flex is doing a lot is I do agree Pit does have one of the best dash attacks in the game and it's very safe. However, he did it three straight times, so Alex was able to punish. Nice, nice counter. So Alex is playing great right now. Yeah, that's a really good observation. You can kind of see the mentality the game plan a player has and it's like oh i'm gonna try this it didn't work so let me try it again and again it's like you don't see their brain like their process evolve well sometimes counter too, opportunities yeah i was gonna say sometimes too like you know it is a good mix up like who would oh four dude the fair actually cost him that because he didn't get the final hit of fair so he dragged down peach who immediately realized that was gonna happen in forward smash now solex Huge advantage, has no reason to approach, which he, he's smart. Like, he's like, you know what? Hey, man, I got three strikes, you got one. You can come to me when you're ready. I mean, pretty much Neo in the Matrix just like extend the hand out, like, yeah, curl the fingers back. Kira Flex go. does not want to be Agent Smith right now. That's that tack. Nice way to get him deleted on the scene. Oh, I like. Oh, he got Ooh. footstools. Uh oh. Oh, he was trying to hit him with the parasol on the way up. In addition, he did SD, but he was trying to see if he could get that cheesy, uh, that cheesy hit to try to see if he wasn't going to take it off the top. Gets there, Nair. Flex evolving, goes for the grab off of the potential counter. You see Solex starting to lean on that quite a bit. You need to see what Kiraflex is going to be able to make off of that. Using that disjointed hitbox, wading his way in. It feels like Kiraflex is starting to get a better understanding of this matchup in this very game. Yeah, he's just understanding like Solex's habits right now. One thing Kiraflex does well is he does do the pit bread and butters. Who has the same bread and butters that Pit had in Smash 4. He always <laughs> connects them, which is... You, you know, you need damage, especially when you're down. You don't want to take damage. Ooh, you want, ooh pulls out Mr. Saturn. One, of two, one out of 256 chance for that. Right. But uh, Mr. Saturn is on a vacation. Aeroflex looking for the potential spike. That back air would have killed if you didn't get uh, Sour Spot. Oh, that's going to kill. All right, so, wow, Aeroflex played perfectly that stock. I think he took, like, 12%. So, Lex, looking to recompose himself right now. Looks like he got too patient. You know, like, when sometimes when you're up a lot, and you're like, oh, man, I don't really want to go in there and be reckless. However, his uh, his patience essentially cost him. And, like, Kiroflex like, kind of rushed him down and really give him no opportunity to get out. Nice flow to get out of there. Yeah, I mean, if, if your game isn't really heavily emphasized on the counterpoints and you are hanging back, you invite the opportunity of the enemy to get the upper hand. Yeah, we see Kira, Kira Flax relic, pretty much evening this game up. Solex gets back on the stage, looks for the fancy foot loose in air, brings out a turn up. That's a weak phase, by the way. Throws that, just misses. Neutral air again into the arrow. Ooh! Ooh. Nice dodge, nice dodge. I, he literally just got off. But that was a really good read by Kira Flex. You get that F smash? That last hit was, uh, that peach was done, though. Okay, uh, it does look like Solox can't get past this wall that's Pit right now. You see how Pit has controlled center stage? We've been on the right side of this stage for the last at least 40 seconds. It's just, he reflects his domain. <laughs> so much presence standing right there. Okay, uh, gonna catch him up. Eh? Down smash, not gonna kill, but right now Peach really needs to be wary. Side B, uh, I don't believe forward throw would kill yet. Uh, I, I really feel like Peach just needs to keep the toad hidden under the skirt, because... Anytime we see this toe comes out, it just feels like Solex is fishing for an answer to the momentum that Kira Flax is starting Aww. to build. And when you do that, you find yourself open to getting up smash. That was a uh, that's bad luck, man. You know what? He got hit with the first and then the last hit. I mean, it's a three hit up smash, but it looked like because he only got hit with the first one, he didn't really get sucked in. I was like, oh, he's just gonna he's gonna STI Fall away. Yeah, top right. But you know, Kira Flex really adapted. I you know I got you got to give him credit where it's due. He was down three to one. He's like, you know what, I'm going to keep approaching. I'm not going to change my game style, even though I'm down. And uh, I guess he, I, I want to say he, he caught more of Soul sleeping. Because Soul was like, I took such a quick lead that he didn't know how to counter respond. Like, you know, he responded in the beginning. He's like, yo, this is me. Welcome yeah. to my stage. And then after, Kira Flex is like, all right, well, I'm playing my same game. You're changing <laughs> your game. 
All right, so we're going to Town and City. The actual vigor of the stage counterpicks now. Uh, I wonder how. Well, Peach had skill potential. I'm wondering how uh, how Pit will kill over the top like he did last game. You know, like he still has his left to right potential, but will side B and up smash be negated from the higher ceiling here? I see the platforms having a really big part to play. Uh, there was an instance in the last game where Solex was hanging on the ledge for like a good 15 seconds. Yeah. Having some more platforms to get reliably back towards the center of the stage can definitely open up more options. But Kira Flex already back to business, just buying an experience in damage. Dude, these Max dash backs by Kira Flex are amazing. You don't like. Ooh! Nah, it's not gonna kill. That's way too early. But I, like these dash backs, he is dash back each perfectly and always got a grab. Like, I, kudos to Kira Flex. I, I don't know if he knows like the peak matchup that well or it's just like the dash thing is just that good. We haven't seen a side B come out of Kira Flex that often. The moment it does, it ends up getting grabbed. So I'm wondering if that's gonna go back into the. Verbial tool shit. Solex getting taxed on the way back. Oof. It's a marksman. Dude, that, that, that was reminiscent of Armada and PM. Swedish sniper right there. Four straight arrows. Ooh, caught him on the jump, but the town and city counterpick actually <laughs> screwing him there. Ooh. <laughs> Solex is like, you can keep your arrows, man. I'm, I'm done with that. He's like, you know what? I'll, I'll just forward area. You, you want to keep arrow on me? That's it. All right, so, uh, I mean, anything from. Oh, there it is. Caught, caught, him, caught him with a high float. I mean, I, in my opinion, he kind of just threw it out there, which you got nothing to lose, man. I, I think I think that was a, a, a lack of understanding the matchup because it felt to me like Solex wanted to wait outside of oh, the, the potential range. threat range while uh -huh. the invulnerability were, were off, and Kiraflex was like, actually, uh, actually, I'm this tall when I yeah. am this Today you learned. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I can see that. that. That makes a lot of sense. He just wanted the quote unquote micro spacing to be a little bit of a higher float to not get right. by that. That's a, that's a good analysis on there. That's fair. See, fair, even if you're directly above Peach, it still has that hitbox. Like, I, a lot of people, like, I mean, even I'm, I, sometimes I'm looking at it, I'm like, how did Peach get me? I'm directly above her. But you gotta watch out. It, she actually reaches a little bit behind her. Uh, he still has a jump. Yeah, oh, okay. I was gonna say, he still has a jump, and I'm a little upset he didn't edge guard that uh, up B. Up B, Pit has no hitbox when he up Bs, so if Peach falls down there, he can continue the, the string or the chain of edge guard. Still relatively even. Kira Flex has a little bit more work to do. Last time we saw Solex float out there, it didn't necessarily pay, pay up, pan out for them. Kira Flex shield, taking some damage, spot dodge, into the down smash, getting some space. All right, Kiraflex gets back, uh, and he just—he kind of recovers. See, Kiraflex is waiting in the middle of the stage, and then he, he forces Peach towards the edge. Oh, Vic. Dude, the bump bump. He's like, you want my love? Get three seeds. Vic, I like that. All right, let's see. So, Lex, I, right now, I feel like he has the advantage at lower percents, but when it comes to, like, 70 and up, he's just like, I, you know what I mean? He just doesn't know how to finish his food. Like, he cooks his meal. It's well done, you know? But it's just like, he's always waiting for that last bite or somebody else to finish it. I feel like that can be one of the biggest weaknesses of it. Like, his forward smash, we, we, we saw some solid forward smashes land at 90, near 100%. Ooh. It's like, oh, that's not going to kill. Dude, that also reflected and hit because uh, side B is, uh, is also a reflector. However, because it got reflected so close, the punch animation still hit Peach. So, just bad luck there. Down throw. Ooh, nice. Gets the Nair. That's probably the last follow-up down throw he's going to have right now. Ooh, he went for the hard read. Unfortunate. All right, no bread and butter, and he tried to get the platform shade. It's all right. Uh, Hereflex was in this situation before. I want to see how more Soul adapts right now. Solex on his way to Ooh. confirming game number three. Dude, no, no, he I can snipe it. two, by the way. Yeah, he's like, he's like I remember all those arrows. Yeah, he's like, you know what? Let, let, let me show you my little sniping skills. All right. Your catch. You know. Uh, the reason why that turnip killed, besides the fact he's all the way to the right, was actually in the way the turnip hit pit because it hit him on the top right of the head. Like, there's a chance, let's just say, it hits him directly above and he goes left. It's just, he got hit at literally, like, it, it's not to give so more credit than it is. I was just like, I'm just saying, there is a possibility, like, the turn of hit, hit directly up, he goes left. But however, so adapted there, gets the edge guard he needed. We're into game three. Hopefully he doesn't, like, that doesn't break his mental. Like, I was worried in game one, like, he was like, dang, I was up a lot against Kira Flex. This, right. You know what I mean? Like, people know who this is. I'm hoping to get that. Oh, we're getting Dark Pit. Wait, wait. The the, evolution. Yeah, it is Dark Pit. All right, Dark Pit with a little bit more kill potential. Side B uh, has a better angle. Uh, side B is the only, the, real, the only other change. They both have forward throw that kills uh, around 140, 150. S-Match does the same thing. So, we'll see. I, I, I like the Dark Pit switch a little bit better just because I like having better kill potential. Like, 
you know? I would agree with that. I mean, you, you miss out on the angling of the arrows, but I, I never feel like the damage of the arrows is, is so valuable that you... The value you get out of side B with Dark Pit pretty much outweighs yeah. anything Pit has going. Even if he gets five arrows and all that. Ooh, gets it. Gets spot dodge the other smash, but he still got hit by it. However, he didn't get hit with a super sweet spot, so he's still living. But uh, right now, Solex, unless uh, I jinx him. Ooh. Okay, good. Yeah, I didn't jinx him. But I was going to say, Solex uh, playing this clean. Okay, never mind. You know what? Gear Flex is like fishing for early stocks. Forward air back onto the stage. Look for that side B. Dash attacks. Connect. Okay, uh, another Still fact snipe. Another fact is, yeah, these pit arrows are also doing 8 to 10% damage versus uh, these dark pit arrows versus pits, which is, you know, do 4 to 6. Uh, nice back throw there. Really takes it off. However, he took way too much damage at the end of that stock. Like, that was the only damage that happened between that exchange. So he took, like, 40 to 80. Okay, Ooh. no, yeah, I was hoping for a pop. I, I, I was about to say, get, get the Twitch clips ready. We're about to see a 0 to 80%, something like that. Yeah, he, he, he I, I think the F tilt is hitting a bad spot, or he didn't want to F tilt, but who knows, who knows? Maybe he just wants to take damage where it is. Forward throw, not going to kill. Pit, see, oh, Ooh. he just missed. Nice try there. And also, I like the side B there, just in case she, uh, in case Soul caught uh, Dark Pit on his way up. Like, that's a trade he'll take. Kiraflex has to take chances like that if he wants to That's pull it. Yeah. Dash He's going to be able yeah. to take the stock. It just seems like there are instances every now and again where Solex is just kind of caught flat-footed, like he was just floating off the side. Mm. I don't think he expected the idea that Dark Pit could even potentially come out there yeah. with that aerial attack. If Kiraflex timed that a bit differently, that would have been the stop. Yeah, uh, uh, one million percent. I, I agree with that. It does seem like he's like, you know what, I'm going to wait back on this float. And it does seem a bit lazy, or it's like maybe he wants to recomp uh, recompose himself. Ooh, he's got the smiley, and he did hit him once, so he got that 25 percent. Unfortunately, he didn't get him again, but right now, Solex, you know what? He's like, you know what, I'm going to get aggressive right now, and it's paying off. I mean, if you switch over to Dark Pit to get really the full value out of that decision, look for the side Bs. Yeah, the arrows do a ton of damage, a lot more impactful than pits, but you just got to get up close. Got to try to make, make things happen off of these down throws. Ooh. Another arrow, 75% counter. Oh. Ooh. 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 Uh, the other thing is, shout out to Kiraflex for his dash back again. He was, able to, he was able to, again, get a dash back into a grab, and it, was, it followed up into that whole situation. Right now, you know, Kira, that was a really good recovery. He utilized all uh, five jumps from Pit to get uh, recovery safe, but... I think that's the first time we've really seen in this matchup there. Uh, Kira Flax really make use of that aspect of the character to play around the flute units that he can bring to the table. Mm -hmm. Like that aerial pressure from Pit is super well, and in addition, now that he's using it with his recovery mix up as well, like he's go, he's fishing a lot deeper, he's recovering there we a lot. Go. That's side beat, brand new game. Last stock, last hit, game three. Yeah, I remember we hit him with that nine iron. Ooh, back throw. Here, this could be it. No, no startup. Okay. Man, we're, we're, we're always hoping. Maybe he doesn't like this. Oh, this is, this could be it. This could be it. Those Twitter combos are tough, uh, man. <laughs> I mean, they, they look nice on Twitter, but yeah, it's <laughs> not like you don't just pick it up and like, what, why didn't I Twitter combo yet? You got to come in a lot of time to be able to pull that up against a human opponent. That was smart. Okay. He was trying to edge cancel it to instantly do another side B. He was also, at the same time, trying to bait and run away, which I think was smart. He just didn't have advantage there, and Kira Flex was really imposing like his stage presence. It, this is a common situation we're in. This is where Solex is nice. not. Yeah. This is where Solex is kind of. This is where his biggest weakness is. Like, getting past this Kiraflex wall on the right side of the stage. Kiraflex has a really keen eye on this situation. Goes for the down attack. Able to get some damage there with the foul wall. That's a lot of damage. For the zone, 105. We are well within side B territory. Kiraflex is like, I don't even need that. I'm going off stage for this last stock. A sizable lead. Can Kiraflex close this out? Ooh, okay. Ooh. That was close. That was close. But the next forward throw will kill here. And nice. He's just throwing out. The, the, he knew he, there was nowhere he could get punished from it. So he was just throwing him out. However, Peach finally does recover. This is Solek's last chance. Uh, and he's back on ledge. All right. Ooh, okay. Once again, fastball fair. Oh, okay. He, get, he gets the jab. Just breaks out of the grab because of that jab. However, once again, if Kira, if Sol can't get back on stage here, this, this is it. Like, this is 100% it. This... Oh, down throw, bear. Okay, Nair. Hits him with the backside of it. Sends him off stage. Oh, that was a stitch. He that, just... 
Kira Flex would have known some happened to him if he caught that one. That's it. And a forward smash. Yeah, fast ball fair. There it is. Yeah. Kira Flex moving on the winners. Yeah, a fast ball fair, like similar as a kid to Pichu, uh, Pikachu and Pichu, um, where you drag them down two stage and you're immediately able to follow up with either a grab or any type of uh, any, any type of attack because they're not expecting it. Yeah. Kiraflex has played it really well. I mean, you gotta you gotta give him his, you gotta give him his credit too. He Solex played awesome. Shout out to him and shout out to UCI as well.